Hey guys, what's up? Tim Queen here and today I'm going to share with the best strategies how to promote a service-based business on LinkedIn. The first thing that you want to do is you want to add a special section to your LinkedIn profile and it's called the providing services section. This is something everyone can add to their LinkedIn profile and it allows you to pick from a hand selected group of services and add them to your LinkedIn profile. Meaning, when someone is searching for those specific services, your profile has a high chance of showing up, especially if someone is doing a local search. Now, this option also allows you to uh, bypass the regular process of connecting with you or sending you an email. You can actually make it so that whenever someone wants to reach out to you about a specific service, that they can send you a message for free. It's an option, you can turn this on or off if you want to, but it's a great way to make it easy for people who don't want to pay for emails to send you messages on LinkedIn. Option number two is you can apply for the LinkedIn Pro Finder. And this is similar to, the to adding like a providing services section to your LinkedIn profile, but this time you will be listed in a special directory of pros on the LinkedIn platform. Now, at the moment, this is only available to US-based LinkedIn members. It's not available anywhere else. So if you are US-based and you are falling into one of the criteria, you can actually apply to be listed in this directory. So this makes it even like more likely that you get found, especially if someone is looking for a real professional, not just like some semi-professional person. So this can really help you if you're looking for like higher price clients to get found on LinkedIn. Option three, you can add a detailed outline about the different services and packages that you are providing in the description of your LinkedIn profile. And what I recommend is to both use your main description and then also repeating the same information in your experience section, especially if you are running your own business, you can add your own company page in your experience section and then list out the different packages in the description for your own company on your LinkedIn profile. Option four, you can use your experience section by adding multiple role titles to your own company. This is a little hack. You basically think about all the different services that you provide and then you're giving yourself an appropriate title within your business. So you could have multiple titles. You could be the director, you could be the chief marketing officer, you could be whatever it is, the photographer of your business. This way, you can also get found for specific role titles that people are looking for. So if you're offering, like, let's say, three different services, you can find the most appropriate job title and adding this as another role in the same company, your own company on your LinkedIn profile, which will then show up at the top. It will show up your company name with your general description, all of your different packages in your description, and then it will show like a small subsection for the different role titles, all three or however many you want to add on your profile. And inside of this, you can again use the same keywords. The idea is you want to optimize for as many keywords as possible, so LinkedIn will understand what you're doing. Not just use the same keyword, use variations, use synonyms, so it's easier for people to find you, like if they don't use the exact keyword in their LinkedIn search. Option number five, you can add a strong LinkedIn headline to your profile, which is indicating who are you helping or working with and what kind of problem you're solving and hinting at the solution. So let's say you have a special accounting software. You could say, hey, I help businesses to stop worrying about taxes with our AI-based accounting software. Get in touch by sending me a connection request and ask me for a free demo, something like this. And then people can instantly see if this would be relevant because they know, hey, do I fall into the criteria? Am I a business owner? Yes. Do I worry about taxes? Yes. Am I looking for an accounting software? Yes. And then if there are three check marks, they are much more likely to reach out. And because you actually also told them how you should get in touch, for example, by connecting with you, sending your message or visiting your website, then they're much more likely to take action because you're making it super simple for them to identify themselves, to see if the problem is matching, to see if they are looking for a specific solution and then how to get there. Using your LinkedIn headline, really powerful. I'm gonna put a link down in the description. One of my articles has over 39 LinkedIn headline formulas that you can use. So 
Make sure to check this out and update your LinkedIn profile today with a killer headline. Option number six, use the featured section of your LinkedIn profile. Especially if you turn on the LinkedIn creator mode, your featured section will be pushed all the way to the top. And the best part is you can add clickable links to your featured section. Meaning you have, if you just limit yourself to two, you can have, for example, lead capture form, you can link to one of your white papers, you can link to your contact form, you can link to a demo, whatever you are selling in your business. It's super simple for people to just scroll down and click on it and discover p things that you want to share. It's kind of like the bio link on Instagram. It just allows you to add as many links as you want. If you just have like one or two, it will very prominently display them. If you have more, it will just add like an arrow button where you can like scroll to the, to the right or scroll to the left to explore more. I recommend to either share like one or two links to get the biggest impact. And this can really help you to promote some of your packages. If you want, you could also share like a direct link to each one of your packages on your website so people can explore and find out more if that's for them. Otherwise, link to one of your lead capture forms and then build trust via email marketing first. And then option number seven, use the media feature to attach specific links to specific services to the experience section of your LinkedIn profile. For example, you could again link to the same packages that you are already linking to in your featured section. Just share the same link and attach them to each one of your role titles in your experience section. And just another way, like provide as many ways as possible how people can click through to your website and learn more about your different packages so they can learn more about you. And this is just the start. If you want to learn more about how to use LinkedIn, as a service-based business, you can also check out my LinkedIn hashtag guide, which explains to you how to find the right hashtags to get organic discoverability from the right people. The trick is to find like hashtags that your audience actually subscribe to. It explains exactly how you can do that. And you can also check out my LinkedIn accelerator program, which is teaching basically how to build an entire LinkedIn sales funnel from selecting the right audience, finding the right content clusters, to educate people and build trust over time and then how to build an entire sales funnel so you can take people from LinkedIn, move them through your funnel into your website, capture their contact information and then build trust via email marketing and direct outreach over time. So if you want to get more videos about LinkedIn, also make sure that you subscribe, turn the notification bell on and uh, I see you next one. Bye.